8.3b per sense for the most part. Uh, so remember, this is your key concept from this whole topic. Percent times the whole amount equals part of the amount. Uh, we're going to look at an example first for your paying tax. So it's a $15 item. You make up the item. The tax is 6%. So the task is find the total price after tax. Find the total price. So think about our process here. First, you have to find out how much is the tax. It's 6%. 6 percent. 6 percent of what? And once you find out the amount of tax, then you have to add it on to the price of the item. So step one, find, step one, find out what is 6% of the $15 item. What is 16% of $15? Pause while I show you. 6% change that to a decimal. So 6% is really 6 hundredths. Multiply the percent times the whole amount. The whole amount in this case is $15. So 6% times $15. If I'm not mistaken, that is going to give us, or I should say give the government, 90 cents. So the item is $15, 6% of that is 9 tenths of a dollar, or 90 cents. That's reasonable. I would expect it to be low. I got an idea. That's my instincts calling me. We're going to keep moving. So now that I have the, um, the price of the tax, just add that on to the price of the item. So step two, find the total price. In this case, the total is going to be the 90 cents plus the $15. So write the total price question mark. So it's going to be my $15 plus 90 cents. Line them up by the decimal and we got $15 and 90 cents. Questions? Preguntas? Example 2. Good news, no tax. But we're still using the same basic equation, which is the percent times the whole equals the part amount. How much is this discount really? It says 20% discount. When you see that sign, then your question is, so how much does it cost now? What's the sales price? So that's what we're going to find. Given a $35 shirt, if it has a 20% discount, what is its sales price? So. If you think you know it, go ahead and pause the video, work it out, and then I'll meet you in a few seconds and see if we got the same answer. So pause it now to work it out by yourself. All right. Well, we should have realized the 20% discount times the whole amount, which in this case is $35 will tell us the amount of the discount. This 20% discount though, before I can multiply it, I need to change that to a decimal. So you change 20% to a decimal. 20% is 20 out of 100. So let me write 20 out of 100 as a decimal. Times 35. I'll put parentheses times 35. So that is going to equal $7. All right. And before we get all excited, this is just the first step. So step one, 
I found the amount of the discount. So when they say 20% discount, that means $7 discount. So what's the sales price? So step two is find what that sales price is. In this case, I'm going to have to subtract. The reason why we love discounts is because they make the price lower. So a $7 discount means $7 less. So you just subtract $35 minus the $7 discount and that's $28 shirt. $28. Nothing else to it. Swish. Dirk made 85% of 60 free throws. Probably not in one game. If he made 85% of 60 free throws, how many free throws did he make? Percent times whole equals a part. 85% times the whole amount. Is this 60 the whole amount or is that part of the amount? Of the 60 free throws. That's his whole amount. Alright, so we showed how to work that out using the equation. And I'll work it out using the equation also. But a good way to help us uh, visualize that we have a reasonable answer is use a percent estimation model. And it looks a little something like this. So I'll start with a long rectangle with percent on the, one, on the left side. Call that 100%. But on the right side, 100%, if he made 100% of his 60 free throws, he would have made 60 free throws. If I know what 100% is 60, I can break this down into different increments. I could say, well then, 10%, 10%, how much is that? 10% of 60, well since here, it's just 10 times smaller, divided by 10. Well then on the right side, 10 times smaller, divided by 10. 60 divided by 10, 6. So 10% of his free throws means he would have made 6. That means 20%, 6 more, 12 free throws. And I can keep counting by 10%. Problem is, that's not a multiple of 10, is it? We can use this to figure out 80% though. 80% is going to be this 6 times 8. 6 times 8 is 48. So I know my answer, if I had to guess, should be something close to 48 and actually a little bit more than 48. But here there's a big clue. If 10% is 6, what's half of 10%? 5%. So if 10% is 6, how much is the 5%? I'm not sure if y'all can see that. 5% is 3. So 80% is 48. Let me just go 5 more percent. That's 85%. That means I go three more, since 5% is three. That will put me at 51 free throws. Build it up by 80% to 48. Add five more percent, means add three more, it's 51. So that's how you could do it on the model. Now, if you're not filling the model, you could just stick to multiplying 85% of 60. That means change your percent to a decimal, so 85 hundredths times 60. Just multiply 85 hundredths times 60, and uh, guess what the answer is. Go ahead, multiply it. I'll wait. I'll wait. Fifty-one. You get the same 
answer. So whichever way is easier for you. Multiplying 85 hundredths times 60, you get 51. Or if you want to visualize it to see if it's reasonable, you can use a percent model, 51.